one night about a month or so after Rosemary passed away and went to be with Jesus, I found this note. I actually, I went into the study and I picked up an old Bible that I hadn't used in years and took it in the kitchen and wiped it off. It was a little dusty and I opened it up and I found this note and I don't I have any idea when she wrote this, but it says, I love you very much, Ronnie. She used to call me Ronnie and she signed it, your sweetie Petey. I used to, that was my nickname for her, Sweetie Petey. And uh, like I said, I don't know when she put it in there, but I sure needed it that night. I'm Ron Dodge from Thibodeau, Louisiana. And uh, my wife, Rosemary, who was my bride for 45 years, uh, when we were coming back from Montana uh, in Oklahoma, in the summer of 1998, July 8th, she got a seizure. Of course, we didn't know what had happened because both of us had been in very good health. And uh, within four weeks, we found out that she had a brain tumor and subsequently was operated on. And uh, she lived for 13 months after that and passed away. And we found out that what caused her brain tumor was Diet Coke, aspartame. It's deadly, deadly poison. In fact, it's three deadly poisons in one. It's made up of aspartic acid, phenylalanine, and methanol. And all three of them are neurotoxins. They cross the blood-brain barrier and attack the brain, uh, excite the brain cells to death, cause tumors. Of course, it causes uh, breast tumors too, and Alzheimer's, lupus, blindness, fibromyalgia, uh, heart attacks. My brother-in-law died from drinking too much Diet Coke with a heart attack. So this stuff is deadly. And millions of people are already dead from this, and millions of more are going to die. And what's really sad is that I found out that they knew it was poison when they put it in there. They knew it would do these things. They already tested it, and it caused brain tumors and other problems. And the FDA had turned it down in the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s, Monsanto bought out a serial drug, began to manufacture this stuff, paid off the FDA. They turned it down, but the head of the FDA, Hayes, overrode the board, okayed this stuff, and they put it on the market. And the soft drink industry issued a 16-page report condemning it uh, before it was okayed by the FDA. But once the FDA okayed it, they jumped on it and made millions on it. And if you're using any kind of diet products, you're going to die. It's just that simple. It'll kill you. And the patent rights ran out. Now they're putting this aspartame in over 9,000 products. So not just diet products, but it's in regular products instead of sugar or mixing it with sugar. And they don't even have to put it on the label as aspartame. However, one of the three poisons in aspartame, they do have to, by law, label it. And that's phenylalanine. That has to be put on the label. And if it has that on the label, you know it's got aspartame in it. Avoid it like the plague. Their families are dying and they don't even know why. And this is why. This is what's giving them the diseases that they're getting. Rosemary, she was such a beautiful, talented lady, and she did not deserve to die like this. Don't let your family die. Get them off this stuff. If you got them, slap it out of their hand. It's better to make them mad than to have them dead. It's hard for me to get out of the grocery because every time I go in there, I see people with diet drinks in their baskets, and I've got to stop them and tell them. Of course, I've warned thousands of people about this because I know that they're going to die. Them or their husband or wives, you know, and you just have to warn them. In fact, when I warn anybody, I make them promise that they will warn at least 10 other people and make these people promise to warn 10 others. If everybody does that, this word will spread like wildfire. I thought it was just for the money that they did this. Then I found out the head of Monsanto is a Bilderberger, one of the men that run the world. 
you know? And their agenda is to reduce the population of the world by 80%. So this is a killing machine that they're using. Like I say, millions are dead, hundreds of millions will die before this thing's over with, worldwide. It's, you know, there's a lot of symptoms that arise when you're drinking this stuff or eating something with aspartame in it. You know, headaches, blurred vision, sometimes it affects the stomach, uh, heart palpitations, so it affects different people in different ways. There's a very good website that you can acquire a lot of information on. And that's doorway.com, D-O-R-1-0, D-O-R-W-A-Y.com. Or you can also punch in just aspartame, and there's a lot of information will come up. Or another website, aspartamekills.com. You can also go to infowars.com and then click up on aspartame. It'll give you a tremendous amount of information. Not only that, on Infowars.com you can see uh, how they're using these kind of things to, to control population in the world. Men like Ted Turner, whose uh, quote was that uh, the world can only sustain 350 million people and everyone else has to be eliminated. This is a quote that he made about three years ago. And last year, he gave a billion dollars to the United Nations for population control. So these are the kind of, this is their mindset, and these are the kind of men that are creating these kind of problems, as well as uh, a lot of other biological problems in the world. So get informed, uh, find out what's going on, and uh, get on those websites and uh, get educated, and let your, tell your neighbor, tell your friends. We need to help stop this thing as soon as we can. Well, Ron, uh, you have been a great help to us in rebuilding the church at Mount Carmel, and you've drove. How many hours did you drive? Uh, it's 10, 11 hours. Just God bless you for speaking out about this issue, because I don't think there's a handful of people that are speaking out against it. Just tell us one more. How does it explain to the people how it makes you feel that these people as as killed your wife. Rosemary and I were in a business together and we have a big changeable sign in front of our business which we closed down now, you know. Uh, and I put up on that sign for everybody to read that goes by and thousands of people pass there every day. The FDA, Monsanto, and Coca-Cola murdered my darling Rosemary. And that pretty much says it all. They're a bunch of scumbag killers, they don't care about people. They just care about power, control, and money. And when I see someone else using these products, I just know they're going to die, and I, I just want to warn them. I just want to tell them, don't do it. Don't do it. Stop now while you can. What is the central message you, you want to get to these people? Quite often, because something's put in a food product, we think, well, it's got to be safe or they wouldn't put it in there. But this is not the case today. They've got to realize they're in danger. Their loved ones are in danger. They've got to stop and think about what it would mean to lose their husband or their wife or their child. Children are drinking this stuff. See? Pregnant women are drinking it. They're going to lose their babies. I mean, this, this stuff kills. It's poison. They need to be aware of that, and and they need to. They now that they now that you know about this, everyone that's looking at this, you now have an obligation to warn others. It's just that simple. You know about it. Maybe your life's been saved by this. You have to warn others. You have to spread the word. You can't let this thing go on. I can't let it go on. It would have been nice just to crawl away and grieve about this. But I know Rosemary would have wanted me to warn others about this. She was such a beautiful lady. And, uh, I miss her. I miss her a lot. That's all I got to say. God bless you.